Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, Lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts today. Here I am in bed with Bernadette. You can hear her. She's yipping and yelping and yammering and all that jazz. I haven't done a video from bed in a long time. I'm in the room formerly known as the child. Perpetual doesn't really dig it when I decide to roll over and make a video in bed, so I'm in here. Hang on, please. Pausing. Pausing. This is much better. I just thought I'd drop in and tell you about my life, but before I do, I have to apologize for Bernadette hitting the phone all the time. First of all, um, can you sense, can we have a moment of silence of good vibe sending for Smitty because his mother is hospitalized and he feels that, as he put it, it's her last rodeo. So, um, if you could keep Smitty in mind, I would appreciate it. He's a wonderful person, very interesting, and he's also lounger of the year for 2019. I have to get cozy. I can't deal. And she's driving me to drink, bumping my arm wildly. Okay, here I am. So, um, that's the order of business, number one. Number two, I just visited with Thomas. God love him. And, you know, I go out and call him at night. And uh, he came zooming across the yard from the direction of Mother's house. I, I got a little boo-boo there. Anyhow, and, um, you know, he goes up and we visit and he goes crazy. He was kind of in a rush trying to uh, eat between the raindrops tonight. But I did something fun with his galvanized tub today, ladies and gentlemen. I It wasn't really fun, but um, it got water in it. Those are really nice little galvanized tubs. Uh, they're trays, of course, and um, they went from $5 to $2.50, so I bought three more to use here around the house. Okay, anyhow, I was going to take a little drill and make holes in it so that it didn't flood whenever it rained, you know, and bird seed floating around and whatnot, but I didn't have a drill, and I went over to Mom's, and she gave me a screw and a hammer, and I have my own hammer. And so I pounded out the little areas, and then I put screen in the bottom, and it's working beautifully. I even put a little roof over it at first, but it was just too ridiculous, so I didn't, you know, keep that up. Um, yeah, we were supposed to work today. Spencer and I were supposed to work today with Perpetual. I slept in my work clothes. I washed them every night. Well, not every night. I did not the one night because I didn't get too sweaty and gross, but anyhow... Yep, I sleep in my work clothes, and that way it's one less step in the morning. Not making it up, ladies and gentlemen, but at any rate, uh, we didn't have to work. It was raining. We were going to have to go to a different job, the original job. Oh, I never did a video from there. Um, but it was just too much, and we knew we'd be working around a 1,000 people. And People don't realize all the stuff painters do. Like, Spencer spent the whole day on Thursday pounding uh, shingles in to the building, you know what I'm saying? So they weren't flopping around in the breeze and there's caulking and there's power washing and all kinds of jazz. But I'm telling you what, our magical belts that we got are really working, giving us magical painting powers. So there. Uh, tomorrow I will be doing tomatoes all day long. I'm going to awaken and start blanching like a mad woman. And uh, then Perpetual will be here around 2 o'clock and we will can. I'm sort of missing the show. I can't even believe I used to do a show. By the way, my pearls broke. Karen Peterson, if you're watching, the one little bit of it came off. I think I can fix it, but if not, I might ask BB Walls, BB Walls, if you're listening, if you might be able to restring them. It's not like a hideous situation. They didn't all come off because she made them into sections. Very good on your part. Um, hang on. So, um, yeah, I'm going to have to fiddle with those. But I normally don't sleep in them anyway, but I always sleep in this. Uh, where was I before that? Let me gather my thoughts, ladies and gentlemen. I'm exhausted. Oh, tomatoes all day tomorrow. What's that? Oh, the game. The shows. Yeah, I'm sort of missing the shows. It just seems like a total lifetime ago that I went live on Sundays at 1230 and played a lighthearted trivia game where we don't mention the thing. For those who are new, that's what I call the... Um, CV, the virus, uh, and we don't mention uh, politics, so it's an hour of pretending like nothing exists. I pretend like nothing exists a lot, though. You can ask Mick. He kind of teases me about it. 
Um, yeah, so I just, it's really weird that, it, how long has it been? Um, what are we here? In, like, we're almost to the 1st of September. So, four weeks or something. Speaking of which, um, Thomas has been coming around. It'll be six weeks tomorrow, I believe. I made a video of him on July 15th. I don't know what day of the week that was. Maybe someone can let me know. Here comes Bernadette. I'm scratching my leg. Anyhow, um, yeah, uh, July 15th, it was just a little poof of a thing. And you know what? His ear got damaged since then. Because I went back and looked at some videos, and um, he must have got, I don't know what happened to it, but, and it's definitely the same possum. And uh, it got a little bit damaged. So that's how I can totally tell it's him. Not only, but he comes flying over to me wildly. So cute. So adorable, ladies and gentlemen. I just live for that possum. Haven't seen the other one lately, but she might be on a different time schedule. Okay, games. Yes, I don't know um, if you have a September. See, Judith M. Villeneuve, Maine, has an August birthday. Oh, my God. I might have missed it. Darn. I'm going to have to message her. Um, we could start off celebrating her in early September. And Vesper Martini has an August birthday as well, but I haven't heard from her in a coon's age. Um, how old is a coon, and why do they call it that? But at any rate, um, so I'm not sure how we'll start, but we will start. And I still have to do a fake live gig with that new system, that StreamYard deal, and just rehearse. So I might work that in sometime. If I'll let you know if I'm going to do that. Excuse me, I'm getting revealing, ladies and gentlemen. Um, yeah, so, and then we can, I can try to rehearse a show or something. I think Smoking and G-Sharp was going to help me out with that, as she's helped me with everything, like a opening deal and all kinds of jazz. Uh, what else? Oh, yeah, Denise, I live for you because this thing here that you sent me, it expands. I'm holding the phone, so this expands like the more you put in it. It's stretchy. I don't know how I can show you. I can, just take my word for it, okay? And it's a fanny pack deal. And I use that at work. I put the phone in it. And, um, well, I used to put my cigarettes in it, but now I put those in my magical tool belt uh, or painter's uh, apron or whatever you call it. Um, so I put the phone in here, and then I have that playlist on Napster. And I can go, I sort of clip it around a ladder or something, and it stays in here, and I can listen to tunes, total tunes. Uh, moving on to the paper, I... Um, did a deadline the other day and uh, tomorrow I get my huge paycheck I'm getting paid again from the paper which is kind of hilarious but um, you know it just seemed really weird not to write a column I think I'm going to start a blog and that's another thing I wanted to ask you I want to do something too that I can distribute to people in the area but um, you know I can do a blog at first or totally do one but I'm not sure how uh, what's a good place to start can anybody who has a blog just let me know? Or maybe you can email me at hauserman46 at gmail.com. And you can give me details. I think there's WordPress. I might even have an account there. I, I just don't know much about it. I just want to, I need an outlet for my writing. And I think I'll call it something like um, Lisa's Ransom Raves Unleashed. Because I can be very blunt now or do whatever. I was always kind of blunt, but I had to watch, you know, I had to watch it a little bit. So that the readers didn't clutch pearls. Um, gosh, I don't have anything else to report. My life consists of vegetables and... Call any vegetable. Call it by name. You've got to call one today. When you get off the train. Okay, name that artist. Who did that song. And then I'll know that you watched 9 minutes and 8 seconds of my bloviating about pretty much nothing. Um... I guess that's all. You know, I've noticed if I just avoid YouTube videos and um, any kind of alternative media of any kind, I just, life seems totally normal to me. Like, people aren't keeling over in the streets or, you know, being rushed to the hospital because they're infected with something. I notice they use that word now, too. A disease, an infection and all. I don't know. Everything drives me crazy, ladies and gentlemen. And if I think about it too long, I get highly upset. That's part of my deal when I'm at work sweating beads and, I'm, you know, I'll do okay with it or whatever. It's just hard to launch into something like that when you're 56 and haven't really done it, you know what I mean, for any length of time. And I've been 
kind of spoiled working for the paper. Uh, then I just become filled with rage because of the situation that kind of led to this. You know what I'm saying? Do you know what I mean? Do I know what I mean? Do I know what I'm saying? Um, I guess that's all. The cats are all fine. I always talk about Thomas, but I never talk about the cats. Um, Zoe is doing uh, delightful. Lee, she's doing well. And um, she's on the perch sleeping right now. Bernadette's over here. Um, not much else to say. So I'm going to end this at 10 minutes and 30 seconds. I can't get over it. Hopefully I can do a video again with G-Sharp and it won't get taken down on the other channel. I can't get over any of that crap, but it is available on hers. It says, it's I forget what she taught a little bit, it has the number 9 in it, like it's episode 9 of Oregon, Pennsylvania, Stream O Consciousness. Alright, over and out. Thanks again, Denise. Remember the vibes to Smitty. Um, I'm really tired. I can barely function. Uh, lounging with Lisa, the video series that has me lounging while coming at you with thoughts of the day. Join me, join others. Drop your political identities. Let's focus on issues. Leave labels at the door. Research before you judge. And remember, war is a racket. Don't take my word for it. Check out General Smedley Butler and what he had to say. I almost got out of bed and went and got the book, but I don't feel like it. Okay, good night. Love you. Live for you. Can't get enough of you, but I'm ditching you.